All right, welcome back to the Canadian Gun Vault. We're here at the uh, beautiful Galt Sportsman's Club uh, with my good friend and uh, soon to be uh, Instagram Hall of Famer, Tango Mike, uh, the recipient of our last year's Big Gun Giveaway Contest, uh, won the shotgun pistol and uh, has been kind enough to join us for the day. We've got a beautiful day here and some very special items for you guys to see. Uh, we decided for our one year anniversary of the uh, launch of our YouTube videos that we were gonna do the shotgun pistol, all right? So uh, a lot of you had a lot of questions about the gun, right? And I'm gonna tell you that the shotgun pistol started life looking like this, right? And for our American viewers, especially who haven't seen this before, uh, these came into the country, into Canada. Uh, I believe that there was about 300 or so that were imported. Uh, they had, you know, 18 inch barrels. And I guess, I guess there was an error made and these guns, uh, shouldn't have come in as non-restricted items but uh what ended up happening was is they took them back or they there's a recall and uh, some people kept them uh legally and they had to be registered as handguns and uh, with that designation they could be shortened uh, to a barrel length of no less than four and a quarter inches or at least that's what some people decided to do with them. and there's about uh, five i think in existence now that i remember correctly uh out there uh, tango mike is one of the proud owners of one so what we have here is uh, i guess this is the uh, six inch barrel variety uh you know it's a hell of a piece uh, a lot of you saw me shooting this uh, a year ago what i'm thinking is is that we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little contest here a little head to head uh first we're gonna start off with just some standard Standard loads, All right? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna actually have you do the honors. This is a standard uh, two and three quarter inch shotgun slug. I believe this is the uh, you know Challenger or Sport something. Sell. Oh, it's SMB. Right? Right. Would you be kind enough to uh, do the honors? All right? We're gonna be hitting some steel here at the uh, 10 meter range. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit much. There are no sights on this gun, folks. Uh, we are kind of like winging it. So let's see how we make out. I'm just gonna step out of the way for a second. Oh, came in a little bit low. How'd that feel to you? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay, all right. Well, then you know what? I'm gonna take this uh, take this gun now. I'm gonna take the other shell just to keep things fair and honest because what we're gonna do here, Stango, Mike, and I are gonna go head to head very shortly. Where'd that go? Any idea? Looked like 11 o'clock. Really? Okay, but it was, was, it, was it about the right height? Yeah. All right, so you know what? That, those are regular shot shells. Mike, how, how'd you feel about that one? Not too bad? Nope. No, nope. you know what? Standard powered loads. Uh, you know, probably could shoot those all day long. All you day. Know, right? yeah. for, the, for the recoil junkies out there, uh, definitely not something bad, really. that you know, is manageable. You would think that you know, something like that wouldn't be, but it's not too bad for the people that aren't recoil shot. However, <laughs> these, <laughs> these are Brent's home loaded shells. They're not the blue dot specials, which are, are insane, <laughs> but uh, these are loaded with something else. And I know that Honda Honda Rider has put together something special here. Uh, these shells are like almost like, we refer to them as the prenatal 12 gauge shells. They're actually bursting with flavor. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And so we're, or we're gonna see how many we can get through, shot for shot. I'd flip a coin to see who goes first, but it is your gun. So you know what, uh, you You're holding me. one, so. All right, well then you know what, let's do this. It's been a year since I've seen you, and you're already making me nervous, girl. Whoa! Okay. That I remember. All right, all right. You know what, we're, uh, you know what? I'm feeling good today. Yeah? I'm feeling good today, right. I'm not gonna lie. Right? You better, be oh, that's it now. I, I couldn't help but notice that Tango Mike was wearing gloves. No, you go ahead, you go ahead. He was wearing gloves when this started, but the gloves are off now. Yeah, gloves are right? off, that's right. Uh, it's a little, <laughs> Little known fact that the Canadian Gun Bolt is very competitive, and I'm uh, really hoping that Tango Mike has brought his A game today. Wow! Ho, ho, ho. How you feeling? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Let's keep your shots here, all right? All right. gonna be a long, long oh, day. Holy mackerel. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> After you, 
Thank God we're taking turns, <laughs> eh? I swear. Hey, I hope the camera didn't see me shake my head for a second. What, what are we running about? Uh, six degrees up here in Canada right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. So we got no complaints about Celsius. temperature. Right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the moment that I will tell Brent. Brent, I don't know what you put in these things, man. But uh, they're dynamite. This is number three. I, I actually felt a little shake in my hand. <laughs> All right, line that girl up. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Woo wee. All right, that's three. I'm feeling good. How you feeling? Just as good. Yeah. yeah. Give me that thing. Uh, at this point, <laughs> folks, I would like to tell you that the Canadian Gun Vault is not used to losing. But I will miss occasionally when firing something this ridiculously powerful. All yours. My turn already? Your turn already. All right, what are we, that was four. This is four. This is four, so we are closing in. We're closing in on the all-time record. Look at that thing. Look I know. You know what? It's just wrong. It's just wrong. I, I I do know the recipe for these rounds, not these particular ones, but for the blue dot rounds, which to me feel like they might actually be a little lighter. Uh, needless to say. Wow. Okay, you just caught up with me with number of hits. We're four. We're now four apiece in hits. We're going to number five. Yeah, I did shake my hands. For all our American viewers out there that have called me uh, every name under the sun <laughs> yeah, for not being able to pull the trigger on this thing without shaking my hand, this thing's no joke, folks. But I love rising to the occasion. Oh, oh, oh. One-handed? You got a little one-handed in you, buddy? Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Can it be done? Oh, ho, ho, ho. You, oh yeah, you just had to do it, eh? Are you, okay, all right. Number six, okay, we're we're now, folks, we're now into some unchartered territory. Uh, apparently Demolition Ranch Matt came up to Canada and got an opportunity to fire this pistol, one of our local ranges. Uh, I can tell you that the regular shot shells are not at all like these ones. It's a completely different experience. Uh, Matt, if you ever come back, please give me a shout. Love to hear from you. And uh, we'll get you out here and we'll let you uh, try a couple of these because they're definitely, wow. It's like uh, it's like you just slapped the rhinoceros on the butt. I mean, I don't, I don't think that people would enjoy this at all. Okay, you know what? We're rolling. Half a dozen. Right, right, you got, come on, let's see what you got. Come on, we're up to six now. All right. You know, at this rate, I'm gonna have to catch up. I'm missing more than I'm hitting. I'm falling behind Tango Mike, pulling the trigger here. Moved, but not the way I liked. That's seven. My wrist hurt on the last. Oh uh, yeah, one. <laughs> you know, you keep starting to feel it. Hey, yeah, I, I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't gonna say I'll anything, but first. you know what? Though uh, I'm gonna tell you, folks, we're getting there. Number seven. It's number seven. Lucky this number is, seven. Yeah. It's like Star Trek now, man. We're going in uncharted territory, never been seen by man. Boldly go where no one has gone before. Wow, okay, all right. So this is the point, folks, if you've ever uh, spent any amount of time shooting Magnum hand pistols, I mean, just for a second, you know, not that I'm taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Model 29-2 made in 1974, uh, well known as the Dirty Harry Callahan handgun and the most powerful handgun in the world for decades. You know what, 
I love the idea of this gun now being compared to this one. I mean, if you look at the barrel sizes, I mean, there's no comparison. When you pull the trigger on either one of these, uh, you're pulling the trigger on a no joke kind of hand pistol. But the truth is, this thing, this is the last stop, folks. I'm not gonna tell you that was pleasant. It wasn't. Come on, come on. We're going to 10, all right? I'm not stopping. All right. All right, we bop until you drop, you all got right. it? All right, it'll be a long time. All right, it's gonna be a long day. Oh, I saw that one come in to the right. Okay, so when you shoot <clears throat> Magnum handguns, uh, for the people that don't spend a lot of time doing that, I'm gonna tell you right now, once things start to hurt a little bit and or you know you start to feel that tingly sensation in your hand, uh, that's when you start missing and it becomes that much more important to pull focus. Squeeze slow. Whoop, and try and stay steady. Oh, ho, ho. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit anymore at this rate. And how you feeling, Mike? Yeah? All right. Yeah, number nine? Number nine. Pulled into the left. All right. Guess what? One hand action is over. One hand action is over. Yeah. Uh, for <laughs> we did we did institute a safety protocol that if uh, either one of us felt that we were getting too far along in the game that we might want to try you know to institute some kind of uh, safety measures in place. Safe word. Safe word. Safe word is that yeah, we're, we're we're definitely going to have to use two hands. After you, my friend. Thank you. You know, this is the stage where I gotta tell you, thank you so much for coming out. I've really enjoyed doing this. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I know you like it. All right. Uh, you can uh, occasionally catch Mike at uh, any one of your local ranges. If you happen to see him and you see him shooting this thing, don't be afraid to stop by, say hi, ask him about it, and uh, you might just get a chance to pull the trigger on one. Wow. Okay. I'm. I am not. I am not finishing on a low note. Right. This is where this is where <laughs> the Canadian gun vault sense of competition comes in. I was thinking about calling it quits, but definitely not on a low note. Ooh. Oh, where is it going? I didn't see that one. All right, well hold on. You know what? Oh, back to back. All right. I'm not missing. All right. All right. I want I want them to just keep hitting until I hit, because you know what? There's no way. Okay, this is the part where I wow. punish myself unnecessarily. Oh, 13. Never, never let it be known in the firearm community that the Canadian gun vault is a wuss, because you know what? I just absolutely refuse to accept. Wow. You know, perhaps, like many rifles, bullet impact point begins to drift <laughs> the more the barrel heats up. Yeah. Dead center. All right. I'm ending, I'm ending on that note at a solid 14. 14, you know what? There's no way I'm not rounding up. Go ahead. 14, so that's 10. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see, let's see. You better bring your A game, boy. <laughs> oh, that one came in a little high. Okay, he's loading these shells as fast as I was. Neither one of us. Came in a little high again. Neither one of us. Wow. Can be accused of not being super competitive after this one, people. Wow. Go ahead. Oh yeah. We're we're going all the way with this. Oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're gonna, you're gonna keep up. Ooh. You can't be serious. Sixteen. You know, I was gonna say, <laughs> let's let's be friendly about it. Nice. Yes, that hit. I was gonna say, let's be friendly. But clearly, Tango Mike is like the Canadian gun vault. 
and loves punishment. 17. There will be absolutely no quarter given on this one. What one is this? 20. This is number 20. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to round up. I was gonna be nice, Mike. I was gonna be nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually pretty impressed. We've had shooters who would not pull the trigger on this thing once. There's only two people on the planet I've seen pull the trigger more than five times prior to today's occasion. These things are coming out at about 1,400 feet per second and the bullets are weighing in. I, yeah, that was a hit. Oh, you're gonna make me go last all to the end? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, right on. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that, it's like an empty plate. It's like an eating competition for recoil junkies. 20. Five. 25 shells. There's a cut finger involved here, folks. You want my glove? Would you look at this? No, I don't want your gloves. I don't. I want you to call up the shots and tell me where they're landing. I want to hit this thing as much as you did on that last set. My hands are trembling, right? For everybody out there that thinks that this thing is an easy gun to shoot, believe me, it is not. We're coming in at 24. Now, I've heard a lot of people say there's different ways to shoot this thing. Probably the best way to shoot it is one-handed and just kind of catch it as it's jumping up in the air. And oh. she's down! Ladies and gentlemen, what a finale. Right? Dango Mike, I'm gonna shake with my left well, hand because my last, we right, do a little yeah. fist bump for the people that can't. I don't know if you want to close in on this little thing for a second, but this the shotgun pistol she tore my finger, you know. tore my finger open. Uh, <laughs> That was a hell of a gong. That was crazy. That was a little bit nuts. Okay, so. Look at the gong. The gong is swinging pretty badly. Okay. <laughs> all right. Want to thank everybody for continuing to watch and support us. Uh, always thankful for the people that buy the merchandise, support our cause, uh, the Canadian Gun Vault, and all the people involved. Uh, very, very thankful for everything that you do for us. We couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, Canada, shoot straight. Stay safe.